think you've got a woman who has sought and then inhabited a role of power. And I think that that just in itself is something that um, from a social perspective is not the norm, hasn't, hasn't been the norm for the progression of the 10 years that this movie has been, that the, the, the TV show has been, been playing for. So I think that there are, I think it's the, I think the thing that, that, that I would imagine that people would, women would look to in that is a, a female who is unapologetically asking for power <laughs> and being given it and dealing with it. Our enemy doesn't tire. But I think the, the thing that really, the, the truth of it and the truth of the show and the thing that is most unifying about the show is, the, is what the role of power plays. And, um, and Daenerys is a powerful mother. <laughs> well, I think she's misunderstood as in she's not just an evil sorceress. I mean, uh, I think that she, because of her age and because of the fact that she um, has seen so much, she also sees what's ahead of us. And, has been sort of more of an overview and therefore wants to basically protect, but her methods and her uh, the sacrifices that they have to be made in her eyes are cruel. Yeah. I think, you know, we've grown up with her and we've seen her progress from like this girl who saw the rose through what, uh, through the, <coughs> saw the, <laughs> saw the world through rose tinted glasses and she slowly learnt and learnt and learnt and become <laughs> become quite um, quite a well-rounded <laughs> individual. And I think people can relate with that, you know, that adolescence is quite a lot like that. I had um, been frustrated for a long time, probably since I was a teenager when I first developed any sort of real consciousness of the world around me, um, extending outside of my own immediate existence, of the kind of roles that were available to women. Um, and here was a part that was outside of the norms of what I saw on TV shows. She was a, a woman that was described as hideously ugly, um, abnormally strong, um, and she also was uh, not vivacious or um, sassy or, or particularly outspoken. She was a vulnerable, quiet person who spoke through her actions and her choices and her moral choice her, her mind is powerful her and and the um the the energy that she gives off has a has a powerful repercussion and i think that as a as a woman that's kind of exciting to watch that on tv i don't think i prefer either one i think they both inform each other you know so as humans we have rage and we have calmness and everything in between so I think it's just that the colours of who she is being played out. Um, I really enjoy doing the battle scenes. They're very challenging and exciting, and and uh, I really enjoy the more intimate, sort of connected scenes with another actor. So there's n neither one nor the other. Just I think they inform each other, and what you can't have one without the other. Um, well, at least it gave me the opportunity to be seen by a lot of people, and. Uh, I think now it's a, it's a sort of um, a challenge for me to get roles that are the opposite and are f more funny and more close to the stuff that I've done before. You know, mm -hmm. I've done a lot of comedy and there's not a lot of comedy in Melisandre, so I have to really counter, uh, yeah, I hope people will give me the chance to show another side of me next time. It was incredibly difficult to say goodbye to the character because it's done so much for me and I'm just so, I'm so enormously grateful for that. It's also um, been fantastic for my own confidence that the very elements that society was telling me were unattractive are the elements that have made this character successful. Mm -hmm.